Right. And if you figure out how to not to waste or limit the wastage of time on doing stuff that you hate and that doesn't align with who you are, I think that's a win. Because then you can spend the next 50, 60 years exploring and doing things that you ultimately really will like and enjoy. And I think it's getting philosophical now, but that's what I ultimately think is the purpose of life, right? Like you want to have an impact and you want to live a happy life and you want to do things that you want to do and you want to spend time with people that you love and you want to help those people around you or you want to feel good about yourself. That's, that's the game, right? It's, it's ultimately, it's killing time well is probably what you look at. When people write their memoirs and they write their biographies, you hear the same thing all the time, you know? The super, super rich people that dedicated their whole life just to business, their general final paragraph, and I wish that I enjoyed the journey a little bit more. I wish that I spent a bit more time with my kids. They've all got something that they wish that they did that was slightly different. You know, the most content people, you know, the genuinely happy people are the ones that are like, I really enjoyed the journey. I worked with people that I loved. I did something that meant something. It doesn't have to be a charity, but it can be a business, it can be all those things, but they, they look forward to most days. They were learning skills, they were growing, they were failing, they were trying new things. That was, that's, where you, that's what I think is the real success story, right? So start thinking now, how are you gonna design your life like that, right? Like what can you do? You won't have all the answers now, I still don't. I'm 32, I'm still figuring out, but that's the fun part is that you keep going through that journey, you keep learning new things, you keep starting, you keep learning, you keep acting. The stuff that I liked when I was 20 is now different when I'm 30. The stuff that I like when I'm 40 will be different to when I was 30. Yeah, when I'm 60, it'll change again. But that's the best thing about life, I think, is that you've got these evolutions. Yeah, that you keep changing and you keep evolving, keep learning stuff. Cool, that's that quote. All right, and then we go back to the concept. So start, learn, act. Even if you don't do anything else and you just go with that mindset for the rest of the year, right? What am I doing? Why am I doing it? What do I need to start? What do I need to learn? What action do I need to take? You ask yourself those three questions over and over again, it'll move you forward in a pretty positive direction.